Welcome to the channel, Tarot Yogi. I'm Vineet. I read Tarot intuitively. And today's timeless pick card reading is going to be about their karma for hurting you and how the skills of justice be rebalanced for you. And I just want to say that please don't be malicious and spiteful to people who hurt you because sometimes all it takes is patience or at your end. And whatever is taken away from you will be given back to you tenfold. You just you really need to start trusting the universe a little more. And having said that, it's still it's still a little validating on your healing journey to know that what you are owed will come to you. So that's what we look into today. We have three piles. Pile number one, we have the golden art nouveau tarot. Pile number two, we have Tarot of the Divine. And pile number three, we have Murder of Cross Tarot. So you can look for the timestamp for your pile in the description box below. And anything else? Yeah, I'm taking personal readings at this time. You can reach me on my email. I'll list my email down below with the file selection and I'll see you guys and in your reading. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe. If you'd like to see more content, please subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know if you like, if something resonates or not. Okay, it's just a general reading, okay? And I'll see you guys in your reading. Thank you. Hello, pile number one. If you chose the Golden Art Novo Tarot, this is going to be your reading. So we look at who hurt pile number one, what is their karmic justice, and how the scales of justice be balanced for pile number one. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, clear, concise messages. Tarot, Tarot, tell me true, what do I need to know from you? Tarot, Tarot, tell me true, what do I need to know from you? Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, give and such messages. What is their karma for hurting my number one? We'll take nine cards, seven of, no, seven of swords, sneaky behavior, six of pentacles, three of pentacles, the high priestess, six of cups, Page of Swords, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Three of Cups. I'm going to pull a clarification for the High Priestess. Can I get a clarification from the High Priestess, Angels, Ancestors, Dead Guys? The High Priestess is cleared by the Queen of Pentacles, okay. And I need a clarification for the Queen of Cups. The world. Okay. And we have Queen of Swords below the deck. So what I'm getting here by number one, this is someone who definitely has very sneaky tendencies. You definitely knew that this person is a sneak. You still trusted them regardless. You probably had this idea that they would not cheat on you, but they did. This could be an ex-lover, this could be this could be an ex-boss, this could be your employer. But what I'm getting here is 
who heard pile number one with the three of pentacles is this is not just one person this is a group of people a group of three or more people who are working on consciously attacking you gang stalking you smear campaigning you what i'm getting here is clearly pile number one you're very strong you know it's not easy to take you down by just one person so this this one person was very intimidated and he had he had a group of friends who was who were helping who were helping them take you down so we are looking at not just one person here but a, a group of people who's hurting by number one and it's very sneaky behavior with the seven of swords they really think that they got away doing things that they have done but the, the, below the seven of swords we have the high priestess so whoever this is you know whoever is this friend of me ex hater ex lover you know who this is you have an idea so this this general reading is just a confirmation for you and the the high priestess is clarified by the queen of pentacles so what i'm getting here is the karma is going to be that they're going to, they're going to, they're not going to be able to sustain the lifestyle and the thing that they 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 have yeah i was starting on the day which means it's it's a group of people this is not this is not work of just one individual this is definitely a group attacking pile one so what i'm getting even with the queen of pentacles is they're just not going to have enough money to sustain themselves that is going to be a part of the karmic justice for you we have six of cups so what i'm getting here is this is someone who has a love hate relationship with you this is someone who's almost obsessed with you this is someone who obsesses over the past that you share with them this is someone who's definitely twisting past memories and you know putting their own spin on it to justify their bad behavior and painting you in a bad light and this is someone who talks a lot this is someone who talks a lot okay with the page of swords this is someone who's very malicious about the the about what they are talking and that that may not even be complete truth you know with the six of cups i'm getting here that they definitely don't have they definitely don't have the right recollection of what happened and they're definitely twisting the facts to suit their own judgment and they're just trying to paint them paint themselves in a better light but you know you know the sneaky behavior you're very well acquainted with the sneaky behavior and the last straw we have how are the how are the scales of justice going to be rebalanced for you so with the three of cups i'm getting right now you may feel very alone but that is not going to last very long you definitely have you're definitely in a place now where you are attracting the right kind of people the right kind of friends the right kind of soul tribe that that will truly understand you so you definitely not going to be alone for very long with the seven of pentacles i'm getting here that all the hard work that you've done regardless of all the deceit and the, de the deception over here regardless of all the deceit and the deception we have two sevens here you know all your hard work is going to pay off so i really want you to feel that i don't want you to feel that whatever you put in into anyone is a waste because it's not your rewards will come to you regardless you you really need to start trusting the universe that the scales will be balanced and they will and all your hard work is not unseen your hard work is not unseen by the universe by god by higher ups by the source you know everything that you've put in everything that is stolen away from you will definitely come back to you so just have some faith again with the world card clear uh, clarifying the queen of cups you're not you're not very much in touch with your emotional body you're naturally an empath you're probably a psychic because we have the, the high priestess and the queen of cups so you could be you you could read tarot yourself you could be an empath you could be an astrologer or you have some sort of spirituality 
what I'm getting here is your heart is closed off. Your heart is definitely closed off by all the deceit you faced, all the all the hate, all the smear campaigning that is that has gone on on your name. It's definitely gonna come to an end. Queen of Cups, she's she's very empathetic, you know. She has a lot of unconditional love to give. So you're definitely gonna come back to a place where the the, the unconditional love of yours will still overflow you know they haven't they haven't really stolen anything from you even though it may feel like that right now this this very difficult cycle for you has definitely come to an end the cycle of deception deceit just balancing out your own past ancestral karma it has definitely come to an end and what i'm getting here is your original nature which is very loving will be restored to you. Your unconditional love will be restored to you. What else I'm getting here is the babies the babies in the Queen of Cups card really stand out to me here. So what I'm getting here is you you could very much have a new love interest on the way now that you've completed this cycle with karmics. You definitely have new love and new friends coming your way. And I just want you to feel that all the hard work you've put in, all the investments you've made in this wrong person is not going to be unnoticed by the universe. You're still going to get what you are owed and what you deserve regardless. I'm also getting that you're really protected from all the gossip. The truth will come out regardless. What I'm also getting here is you may feel very angry, you may feel very agitated, you just want to speak your mind and just scream truth at people, you know, against all this deception that has gone on for you. But what I'm getting here with the High Priestess is silence is very powerful. You're most likely dealing with someone who has very narcissistic tendencies. And the best way to deal with a narcissist is to keep quiet and not engage with them. Do not give them the time of the day. Do not give them your power. This narcissist, this person with narcissistic tendencies, they just want to argue with you. They just want to detour you from your own path. They just want to detour you from everything that you have to do and need to do right now. Pour your energy into what you feel and need is right. Another thing I would really like to say is, Definitely, you need to naturally come to a place where you can forgive this person and you don't have to forgive this person for the person. You need to forgive this person for yourself, you know, so you don't hold on to resentment or any pain in your body. You really need to let this go because you do have a lot of abundance coming in, a lot of emotional fulfillment. You may feel very alone right now, but it may not last very long. Any other messages? Okay, we'll pull some monology, oracle, any guidance from my band number ones, take this, take this. Okay, like I said, you definitely have a new romantic partner coming your way. A new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So this could happen during Libra season. Like I said, we have balance, spirituality and practicality falling below the Queen of Cups. So you're definitely someone who's naturally very spiritual. I mean, if you're watching these style of videos, you definitely have some inclination. So. What I'm getting here is you, you you may have a very escapist tendency with the full moon in Pisces. You know, you may just want to escape in order to feel okay, which is okay. You know, you can keep doing that till for a while, but you need to come back to your reality because a win-win outcome is forecast for you. The scales of justice will be balanced. 
and we have the full moon in Libra with the scales. So this is a confirmation. You're not going to lose regardless, even though you feel you're losing right now. Even though you feel you, you, you feel the desperate urge and need to justify anything and everything and all the wrong information and all the misinformation spread about you, the smear campaigning, don't fight. You know, universe itself will balance that out for you. The truth will come out. These people really thought that they were getting away with whatever they did, but they're not going to get away. And I, I feel that the karma is going to be very instant with this file. What I'm getting here is new moon in Aries. So like I said, you know, with the world card, you've definitely ended a very tough karmic cycle and you can feel very disillusioned. You can feel very disheartened. You can feel very, you're just very over it. You know, you're just like so over, just so over it. Right. And what I'm getting here is take time, like to balance your spirituality and practicality, find, find balance because you just can't be very spiritual and you can't be just very practical and very pragmatic. You, know, you really have to find balance there between the two. And what I'm getting here with the new moon and Aries card is just, just start refilling your own cup and don't, don't be stuck in inaction. You know, the victory, the victory is definitely yours. The victory is all for you. You just have to take action, you know. What I'm also getting here is you need to start procreating with the universe. You know, you just have to put your own work in and then just surrender for the highest good, you know. And, and know that the universe will catch you, you know. Take, take that leap of faith, take that jump. Because you're going to win regardless. Any other messages? <coughs> I think that's all for pile number one. So this is a general reading. Please take what, what resonates. And if anything resonated, please let me know down in the comments. Please like the video, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Hello, pile number two. If you chose Tarot of the Divine, this is going to be your reading. So first, you're going to pull some tarot cards and see yeah. what is the karma for hurting you. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, clear concise messages for pile one. Sorry, pile two. You may be attracted to one or more piles. You may want to check pile number one. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides, for pile one. Clear concise messages for pile number two. What is the karma for hurting pile number one? What is that karma? Angels and chestnuts, good guides, let me tap in. What is that karma for hurting karma too? And how will the scales of justice be balanced? How will the scales of justice be balanced for karma too? Cut the back ones. And final shuffle. Ten of Cups. The Moon. We had Moon in the in Pile One also, so you may want to check out Pile One. Queen of Wands. Two of Cups. Okay, I'm getting what is happening here. The Hierophant. The Devil. Mm. Okay, I see what is happening here. Ace of Swords. Two of Coins. Justice, how beautiful. And you know, we were, we were asking how the scales of justice be balanced for you. And below the deck, we have 10 of wands. So what I'm getting right away here is, this could be your ex-spouse. 
who deceived you. This could be an ex-spouse. This could be an ex-lover, a past relationship, a very toxic ex. This is someone you really trusted. This is someone you really trusted. This is someone you really had high hopes for. But, you know, all the while they were studying you, they were studying all your vulnerabilities, they were figuring out how bad is your Achilles heel so they could, you know, snap and hit you there. Hmm. With the Queen of Wands I'm getting, this is someone very vindictive. This is someone who does not love themselves. This is someone who clearly does not love themselves and they have this tendency of projecting their insecurities onto you because you're just naturally very healed and you naturally have a beautiful light about you. The dogs, we'll take that as confirmation. So what I'm getting here, the karma is, I see that they left you for someone. They definitely left you for a karmic. They left you for a third party thinking that they would benefit more from being with a third party. This could be someone they, they, got, they got married to. They'll definitely have moved in with this person or they could live together or they've gotten married or they have some sort of joint commitments together. And this, this, this new partnership was very alluring. This new partnership was very alluring to the person who hurt you, but they do not realize that they have just walked into, you know, the devil's den with the snake, you know. They were being a snake to you and the karma is that they're, they, they're, they're going to have to deal with the snake themselves. And in a way, this is, this is an equal to them. You know, they have definitely attracted an equal karmic to them. Hmm. I'm getting a lot of hurt here on your side. You really were not expecting this person to hurt you like this. You're very devastated. You don't have clarity right now and you just feel so hurt. You just feel so out of it. But the ways in which the scales of justice will be balanced, we have Ace of Swords. So the clarity that you think you don't have right now will come to you. This clarity is very much going to come back to you. Everything you've lost. What I'm getting here is this person has, this person on purpose has, this person on, this person on purpose has tried to confuse you. This is someone who knew that you are very emotional. This is someone who, you think this person is playing with your feelings, but all the while they're playing with your mind. You have a very pa powerful mind, pile number two. You know, you have the ability to cut through. You have the ability to cut through all the deception. You have the ability to cut through all the deceit. It's just this person has really pushed you off your game. What I'm getting here is, you're definitely someone who works very hard with the two of pentacles. You balance multiple things. You probably study and manage your home. You probably manage your spouse, manage work, manage your children. The multiple things that you do in a day. You know, you're not someone who just does one thing. So what I'm getting here is your own inner flow of doing things that you're not enjoying will come back. And you will have clarity over the situation. This person is, the deception has ended for you. You know, the curse has been broken. And beautiful last card, we have justice. So your justice is very eminent. Nothing over here is truly lost. Also, what I want to say is rejection is truly protection, you know. So, whoever was this deceitful lover, whoever is this person that you build your house with and backstabbed you, has been removed for your life for the better. You may not feel that right now, but that is truly the case. I feel you're definitely ascending. You're moving on to more abundance is what I'm getting. I'm getting that you have new love coming your way. A true love, you know, not, not karmics. I think you really ended your cycle with karmics here. 
So you definitely have new love coming your way. And you're very intelligent. Again, my eyes are going back to the Ace of Swords. Hmm. They're going to pay. This person is definitely going to pay. And I feel just like pile number one, you may want to check pile number one. I feel pile number two, the karma of this person for hurting you is going to be very instant. I would say in a matter of months. One month or two months, you know. And again, the thing with, the thing with justice is, we always want to see justice. And sometimes justice plays out in, in, in a more grander way. And we may not even understand it. But I really want you to know that the justice is yours. The scales of justice will be balanced for you, for sure. So this toxic, this probably toxic lover of yours is definitely dealing with someone as toxic as them or even more. Which is really sad, you know. Because I feel you were the blessing. You were the blessing in this person's life. And I feel all the broken promises that they made to you. All the broken promises that they made to you will be fulfilled by someone new. You definitely have new love coming on the way. I'm really sensing that. Any Anything else? Okay, below the deck we have 10 of wands. So what I'm getting here is, you have a tendency to do a lot. You juggle, you juggle a lot of things. You balance out a lot of things. You could be a Virgo. You could have any any powerful, strong Virgo placements in your natal chart. And you have a tendency to do too much. You have a tendency to learn. You probably learn, need to learn to say no to people more. Maybe this was a lesson for you in terms of boundaries. You definitely need to let go of something here. You definitely need to let go of something. You're still carrying on these emotional burdens. And what will happen then is we have the full card. You know, you, 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 you definitely will come to a new place in your life and you will feel renewed. And what I'm getting here is pile number two. These people really think they took something away from you. These people really thought that they, they, they really like chipped away a part of you but that is not the case i feel this whole this whole cycle of deception was for you to learn certain lessons in terms of boundaries and whom to give your love to okay and what i'm getting here is you're still the same you're still the same you know the fool card the fool is is the beginning of the the major major arcana, and it's 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 sort of the end, and it can pop up anywhere else, you know. So what I'm getting here is, you've definitely gone through this process, you know. You've gone through the ringer, you've gone through hell, but and it has changed you. It has changed you in on the inside, you know. I feel you've gone through a spiritual awakening of some kind, and you're coming back to yourself. You're coming back to yourself whole, you know. So you, and what I'm getting here is, you also need to take the leap of faith with the full card. You know, I think because of everything you've gone through, it, it has just become so difficult for you to believe in anything. And what I'm getting here is, you really need to believe and take the leap of faith. You know, universe really has your back, even when you thought it didn't. Yeah. Any other messages? Mm. I'm going to pull some advice from the Monology Oracle. Angels, ancestors, dead guides. Any guidance? Any final guidance for file number two? See, prosperity lies ahead. Any abundance that is taken away from you, if this could be someone you, you're in divorce court with, you're going to get your money, you're going to get your alimony, you're definitely going to get what you're owed. We just had a new moon in Taurus a few days ago. Mm. 
Any advice for Pine Number Two? You are good enough. So what I'm getting here is again, whatever happened in this case, it really started messing with your own identity and your own self worth. And we have full moon in Virgo, so again, this is a general reading. You could have any strong Virgo placements. What I'm also getting here is you may have to be a little alone, but this this alone time for you is very necessary because the answers you need will come out of this alone time. The clarity that you need will sort of come from sort of going into the hermit mode right now for you. You know, with the Virgo, Virgo is the hermit card in tarot, so. Mm. So you really just need to pour into yourself right now. And I think a lot of, I feel a lot of your, um, I feel a lot of your self-worth and sense of self is derived from action. It is derived from what you do. And what Spirit is asking here for you to do is just, is to just sit back and receive. And to not, not equate what you do with your self-worth because you, you are very worthy regardless. You, you are very worthy regardless whether you have achieved something or not. You know? So don't feel, don't feel less at all in whichever way. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal moon. Hmm. Bring love into the situation. So, I think the biggest revenge for you would you, for, for for you here would be to to still love regardless from the same place that you always have. You may not feel good enough. That's why you may not want to take enough action. But what what the universe is saying here is allow the universe to intervene. You know, do your bit, and then just surrender. You need to co-create with the universe, but you have to take the first move. Everything else will fall into place. Again, what I'm getting here is you don't need to know what is going to happen 10 steps ahead. You know, sometimes you can just see what is, what is just ahead of you, you know, and sometimes that is enough to walk the path. So the way to liberate yourself is through you. It is, it is going inwards. And it is, it is truly realizing your self-worth and your value. That you're truly one of a kind and you can't be replaced. Even though this person made you feel very replaceable. That is not the case. That is so not the case. Again, I'm getting a, a lot of earth signs here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Hmm. Anything else? I think that's all, final number two. So this is a general reading, take what resonates. And if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. If something resonated with you, I would love to know. Yeah, so that's all, final number two. Thank you. Hello, final number three. If you chose the murder of Crow's Tarot, this is going to be your reading. So first we pull some tarot cards and see what is their karma for hurting you and how will the scales of justice be rebalanced? So we will shuffle. Angels, ancestors, big guides, star family. Help me tap into pile number threes. Who got pile number three? What is their karma for hurting pile number three? And how will the scales of justice be rebalanced for pile number three? Tarot, tarot, tell me true. What do I need to know from you? Spirit, clear, concise messages for pile number three.
magician. King of Wands. Five of Pentacles. King of Wands. The Hermit. Two of Wands. The Emperor. Mm. Strength. Six of Pentacles. Below the deck, we have Knight of Pentacles. Mm. So, what I'm getting here, pile number three, is with the Magician card. The way in which this person has hurt you, there has been some sort of spiritual psychic attacks. This could be someone themselves who practice witchcraft that have attacked you this way. Or they have paid someone. Most likely they have paid someone with the, with the king of pentacles. This is someone who has money. This is someone who has power. This could be a boss. This could be someone at workplace. This, this is basically a higher up to you. And what I'm getting here with the magician card is they, they have definitely tried to psychically attack you. There, there is, there is, there is this element of spiritual warfare. So you may definitely want to. First, I want you to know that you are definitely very protected and divinely guided here. But it's best to amp up your spiritual protection. You know, so maybe you can get some protection stones like obsidian. That would def definitely help you. I'm also getting rose quartz. Maybe you should get some rose quartz if, if it has affected your sense of self. What I'm getting here is this is someone who's, who's actually very cruel. This is someone who misuses their power. And their karma is going to be that they're actually going to be alone. They're going to be very, very alone. This could be someone who has tried to separate you from your, from a lover, from a friend. This is this is definitely someone who's who who wants you to be isolated. This is someone who wants you to be in the poverty mindset. This is someone who left you out in the cold. And and I feel they have done this on purpose. They knew exactly what they were doing. Hmm. Two of Wands. So this person, this person has, this person thinks that they, they, can, they can sacrifice you and just get away with it. And they're hoping to get some kind of retribution for sacrificing you. But what I'm getting here is whatever they have planned will not come into fruition. Whatever they were hoping to get in backstabbing you, betraying you, deceiving you, hurting you. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get what they were hoping to get out of doing this malicious act. The way in which the way in which the karmic scales will be balanced for you, we have the emperor. So you definitely, I feel, I feel this whole. I definitely feel this is this is a this is a very spiritual pile again. You could be you could be a tarot reader. You could be into astrology. You know you could study runes. You could have your ha, you could even do yoga. You're very much into your own spirituality, and I feel this person knew this. This person knew that you're sort of coming into your north node. Your north node is is your true path. It's the path that it's the, it's the path where you are born. You know it's it's the path that you're meant to follow in this lifetime. 
and this person i feel this person has done everything in their power this person has done everything in their power to push you away from your path but what they what they don't realize is everything they have done has just pushed you more into your power you're definitely stepping into your leadership role you're definitely realizing your own value and worth and you're just like you know i've dealt with i've dealt with such nonsense and the very fact that i've dealt with such nonsense and and you know i'm you're sort of still standing that just makes you very powerful you know and in a way this has lit a fire for you for you to sort of come come into your into your emperor energy you know again what i'm getting here with the strength card is with with the strength and the emperor beautiful what i'm getting here is all the strength that you lost is going to come back to you and you're going to be stronger than ever you're definitely going to be in a leadership position this could be a higher up as i said this could be a boss who was probably very jealous of you but there is going to be someone who sees your worth and what i'm getting here is you you just need to go on standing in your own power if it upsets people let it upset people you know the very fact that what i'm getting here is the very fact that they were they were so hell bent on on defeating you means that you are very powerful they feel threatened this is someone very established and they feel very threatened by you stepping into your power right this this just means that you know you are really something so don't don't for a minute think you are not you know you're very powerful you're more powerful than you know and you're just you're just tapping into your own potential and this is just the beginning you know new levels new levels but with the six of pentacles i'm getting you you're probably someone who's an actual giver you are someone who actually gives things selflessly you don't give things with strings attached you don't give things to people because you want something out of them you probably like doing small gestures to just make the person happy and what i'm getting here is everything that you've done is not gone to waste the universe is going to abundantly repay you and it's going to repay you more than you thought it could you have great things coming your way anything else so whatever strength you thought you lost is definitely coming back in fact you're going to be stronger than you've ever been you know i feel again i feel there has been a spiritual ascension here you're definitely going through a spiritual awakening and trust me spiritual awakenings can be very uncomfortable it can be very suffocating but it is needed it is needed for you to step into your emperor zone it is needed for you to step into your power and once you step into your power you will not be stopped you be you become you will become unstoppable you will become a force to be reckoned with people are very intimidated by you your higher ups are very intimidated by you whoever hurt you is very intimidated by you they feel very threatened by by your very existence you know it is just it is just the energy you have it is just the power you hold and this is something that comes from within this is not something external what i'm getting here is also you're not someone who needs validation from a lot of people maybe you just want validation from the people you love so you're not very you're not very dependent on external validation the emperor does not care who says what he makes his own rules and he rules over his dominion beautiful so you're definitely stepping into power you you're definitely stepping into more more of a leadership position you're definitely stepping into your own power something is going to change in the way you move you know your 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 and your internal energy is going to change which is definitely going to affect how people people interact with you 
I see, I see, I see great change for you. Feel for the sun, moonology, for, for, for final advice. Okay. Nothing will come of this situation. So what I'm getting here is you could be a fixed sign, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius. You have very difficulty letting you you have difficulty letting things go. But you really need to let this go so you can step into your emperor position. You're probably holding on to pain, you're probably holding on to the disrespect that you had to face, the audacity, you know. But but there's a lot in letting go. Only when you let go will you be able to create space for better things. Hmm. Any more advice? Like I said, it's time to release negativity. It is time to release negativity. Full moon and Scorpio. So what I'm getting here is you're definitely very bruised. You're very hurt by what has happened. And you have taken on, you have taken on to notions and ideas and other people's perceptions of you. And the negativity is usually a projection of their own insecurity on you. You know, you, you are probably someone who just minds their business, goes about their own day. And you're just very naturally secure in yourself. And that just really triggers people. It really triggers people in power who are not secure in themselves. And what I'm getting here is you, you definitely have taken on to the negativity of others what they have put on you, but you need to release that. You need to let go. Conclusions are within reach. So what you're looking for is, is, is very much in your grasp. It's very much in your energy field. The very fact that you let these toxic people slide away means it's a way it's a way of universe clearing out space for something better and the closure i feel i feel you're looking for some some form of closure here from whoever is this person who hurt you you will know who, who hurt you here and what i'm getting here is sometimes the closure is the disrespect it is the audacity it is people violating your boundaries. You know, you may feel very angry, you may feel very bitter, but you need to release. You need to release and let go for your own peace, for your own mental peace here. And you do feel that things haven't been concluded properly. You feel you haven't gotten what is owed to you, but it will come. The scales of justice will be balanced. I promise. And it may happen much sooner than you think. Anything else? Below the deck, we have full moon and Virgo. You are good enough. So again, I see that this has really messed with your own sense of self-worth. But you need to realize that you need to realize this, that if someone much higher up is triggered by you doing well, it means that you are the shit. It means that you are, you're definitely better than being good enough, you know. You're very much threatening the, the, their position of power, right? And if someone is, if someone is treating you horribly, just know that the reason that they the reason that they're doing so is the reason that they're doing so is because they don't want you to become better because they know you have the ability and the potential to be better you know this could be this could be a boss this could be someone that you've had done some some form of apprentice apprenticeship with you could have been an apprentice to this person But you're very much coming into your own power. Just know that. 
I'm, I'm sure you can feel it within you. And yes, whatever has been lost, un universe will bless you back with it. It's going to bless you back with it five times than what you lost. Maybe you have a better job coming your way with a higher position. Again, this is a general reading, so take what resonates. Anything else, Spirit? You could be a Scorpio. Or maybe the person who hurt you could be a Scorpio. Hmm. This feeling of you being left out in the cold won't last very long. You know, you do have your abundance coming in. So, what I'm also getting here is find ways, find ways to release things. Let me let me rephrase. Find 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 healthy ways to release things. It's very important here. Because only when you when you start clearing, when you start clearing space from what was, then only only then can something better come in. You know? Yeah. So that's all I have for panel number three. It's a general reading, so please take what resonates and please like this video. Uh, please comment and subscribe if you would like to see more of this content. Thank you.